This is the quiet before the storm here at Road Atlanta. Come Saturday morning, the hillside will be populated and over 40 cars will be set to take the green flag for the 10 hour, 1000 mile Petit Le Mans. It's the final race for the 2012 American Le Mans series presented by Tequila Patron. The entire season comes down to surviving this event and for many drivers, it happens right in their backyard. So I live in Atlanta, that's my home. Uh, and when you go to Petit Le Mans, a lot of your friends, family, and uh, people that haven't been able to come see a race get to come to the track. I usually have a good support group there. It's uh, it's one of the biggest races of the year. It's the second longest race. It's probably uh, it's equally as tough as Sebring. It's a really fast track. You're busy all the time. The stints are very tiring. And at the end of the day, if you can win it, uh, so I hear it's very rewarding. I haven't done it yet, but I'd love to. So Road Atlanta is uh, really close to where I live, right in my backyard, basically. And it's our final race of the season, which means it's probably one of our most important ones. It's a, it's a difficult track road, Atlanta. It's very high speed, it's very technical, and it's a long race, and it's a grueling race. In a lot of ways, it's even more difficult than Sebring. But you always want to have a good showing at Petite. Obviously, it's one of our two longest races. It's such a cool event because we have so many fans every single year that come out to watch us and support us. And one of the things that make events so special is how many people we get there. We're really looking forward to uh, the Petite this year. Uh, both cars are going to be uh, be at the tracks and um, I think it'll be an interesting race because it's going to be the longest in our calendar for the season so far in preparation for next year. And we're going to attack that race, we're going to go for qualifying, we're going to try and qualify as high as we can and uh, for us qualifying as high as we can is nothing less than pole so we're going to try and go for it. And uh, again, we're, we're competitive, we're building this program competitively and not just on a stable learning curve but we want to showcase to our SRT fans, to our sponsors like Michelin, Forza Motorsports, that hey, we're here to be serious.